you will need a Raspberry Pi, you will need a camera, and you will need to connect Raspberry Pi to the same network as uh, uh, all other devices are. Also, make sure that you are connected with a cable and not Wi-Fi with your laptop. So, for the most of the part, this setup will be completely enough because uh, we will uh, use a simulator. Our Raspberry Pi will be connected uh, to, uh, to the simulator. But once we're done with the development and we will, we will want to try it in the real world, we will mount our Raspberry Pi on a frame. Uh, so let me describe what we see here. We have Raspberry Pi, we have Wi-Fi board, they are both powered through this switch mode power supply, which is connected to the main uh, battery. Uh, we have a servo control of our um, camera. We have uh, some power boards that control some uh, peripherals, like a dropping mechanism and uh, some additional power outputs that I use for a very powerful uh, LED. Uh, but once we are done, once we mount it here, we will use these uh, outputs to connect it to telemetry port. And we will change one configuration in uh, Python and that's it. Once we turn it on, it will uh, connect to the drone, to the real board. It will uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network on this uh, modem and it will connect after that to the mm, cloud application itself. Now you could use a USB modem for the same purposes but it's much better to use 4G Wi-Fi modem because uh, through Wi-Fi uh, connectivity is much easier and much much faster. The other thing that you might ask is why do we use a servo and why do we uh, control servo from Raspberry Pi? and also these um, boards. Now, obviously in real world scenario, you will control servo from Arduino or you will uh, control servo from um, the board itself. I mean, you will be sending Mavlink commands and these Mavlink commands will through this uh, servo outputs control the servo and that will be just fine. But to simplify things, in this course, we will be controlling everything from uh, Raspberry Pi, you see. Also, these boards do not uh, be worried, uh, they are electrically separated. I mean, uh, input signals that come from Raspberry Pi are electrically separated from the, this part of the board that controls power electronics. Okay, so let's move on.